Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here. Today we are back with the random battles to top 10 race versus Freeze Eye. We're just going to go ahead and get right into it and grab a game. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm on my way to 300k. That is my end of the year goal. And I upload these every other day. The previous episode, which actually uploaded on Freeze Eye's channel, where we did a best of three random battles versus each other on top of um, both of us laddering. But I had to show my team while laddering, and it didn't go so well for me. So definitely go ahead and check that out. I have a decent team, uh, some decent sweepers right here. I have a good lead matchup too, so I'm just going to click freeze dry and see what happens. Uh, if this does not take any damage after, we know that it's choice ban, which it looks to be choice ban. Um, we could bring out Toxapex now with the expected Darkest Larry or Body Slam. They try to anticipate a Steel type, which I think is a good play to be honest. I, I think I might have done the same thing. And uh, trying to think what I have for that. Uh, just going to Scald here as they go Genesect. Genesect does have Thunderbolt, which can threaten me. But yeah, guys, if you do enjoy this type of thing, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And also, uh, that looks to be not Assault Vest, I would say. And they can't knock me out in one hit, though. So I think I'm just going to tank the hit, because I need this weaken for Magirna. But uh, check out Freeze Eye as well, because he would be uploading at the same time. <sighs> Dude. So that was a 4% chance to crit me. Uh, that was literally the only risk that turn. And I needed that weaken, like, for everything on my team, right? <laughs> Oh well, uh, we'll go out into our hit on top here. That really sucks. I like the idea of close combat. I'm gonna toxic though, expecting slow bro. Cause I, no, I don't need to toxic. I just need to CC this. Yeah, I don't need to toxic. Expecting slow bro. I have decent slow bro switchings. That crit sucked, man. But we get rid of Genesect at least. Uh, but I lost a really good defensive Pokemon. So I only have. How dare you bring this demon out? No, you will not pass. No, sir. All right, so this is awesome for me because they can really only shrimps at me. So it's okay. I mean, they can't even shrimp at They can only nightshade me. So this is okay because I can calm mind up to threaten like one of their Pokemon. And then they bring out the choice band lax. Espeon will beat one and two. Uh, one and two. Almost always. Lax is like the biggest threat. It might double edge. I'm going to reveal Magirna just to see if I can force, uh, basically force a Dynamax from Snorlax. That way they can't do that later. We'll calm mine up here though because I got rid of a good steel type Pokemon and this calm mine is going to allow me to hit these Pokemon are relatively hard. Um, I'll just Flare Cannon there. If they haze, that's fine too. They Nightshade first at neutral. I do not want them getting any strength back, so I'm actually going to go out into Espeon here. And I don't want them getting up any rocks either. Exactly. There's no way I knock it out with Shadow Ball in one, so I'm just going to go for calm mine just to threaten Snorlax from there too. Uh, because they literally can't crit me. Even if they haze me, I don't care. Actually, let's just knock let's just knock out this Pokemon. It doesn't matter if Lax comes out because Lax is annoying for me, so every bit of chip on the Lax is gonna be good. Like I don't care if I'm switching constantly. Our Earthquake might come out. We'll make the Mr. Ryan play. As a Heat Crash. Unfortunately, that also hit everything. Oh, they have Heat, uh, heat Crash over Earthquake, excuse me, right? Because it'd be Double Edge, Darkest Larry, Heat Crash. Oh, no, they just probably have both. It is what it is. Uh, giant threat to my team, for sure. We'll bring out Hitmon top here, and we're going to double out into Espeon because they should bring out one of these Pokemon. Exactly, and now I can safely click Psychic and knock him out, but also hitting Snorlax in the exact same one. Beautiful. Uh, I can later, hopefully, do something with Espeon here. So, I think Hitmon top is the most expendable member, especially because they ended up going for Double Edge, which is awesome for me. I can knock them out now with Psychic from this. I do think that Magirna might be stronger to go out into though, so I'm just going to run a quick calf to see if I knock him out with Flash Cannon. That way I can get the um, Sohar boost from there. But yeah, so again, we kind of like went down a little bit in points. Magirna! Doesn't matter which one, right? They're all the same. Snorlax. Uh, Flash Cannon does not do that much, but Flare Cannon can knock him out. Okay, I'll just use this to get Espeon's extra leftovers turn. No big deal. They end up Dynamaxing there. Don't know how I feel about that. Was I that much of a threat that you had to do that? I mean, shoot. I do 8% minimum with this, so we'll go Magirna and get my boost. I had to be that much of a threat. Holy crap. I was debating Dynamaxing too as well, but I didn't want to like make a misplay by doing that. They go slow, bro. If they do have Thunder Wave, it's an issue for me. Gonna match Starfall, that way they can't Thunder Wave me. 
as they scald. They also can't scald burn me, which is fine. Go for another one. Doesn't matter what comes out. Basically, as long as Pokemon gets sacked, I'm good. And I just go for the max steel spike. If, if Snorlax gets sacked, it just gives me a special attack raise, right? If Regis gets sacked, I get a special attack raise. I'm faster than Slowbro. I'm faster than Lax. Lax is always a, a special attack raise for me. So there it is, my Soul Heart ability. Let's go. Go ahead and give me that little boost. You love to see it. Amastar comes out. If plus one does not kill... Magirna, plus one. Amastar... Let's get rid of this. 95 min. Hmm. Let's just lurk in and it kills. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we should win here in theory, right? Also, I just click overdrive and win too. Slowbro comes out. Slowbro's just a free calm mind for me. Can't do much to me. Calm mind up again. And I think we win the game. As long as plus two knocks out Slowbro, it's always free to go for. Flare Cannon does 94 to 112, 68%. I'll go for another one. And now we'll throw it off. And it should be game. Provided this connects. Mods are clowns left. I just realized their name. <laughs> That's hella disrespectful. But hey, maybe they are. Shoot. Maybe it's not disrespectful. Maybe they are just clowns. You know? And if you're a mod, let me know if you're a clown. That's your side job, bro. That's your hustle. But yeah, anyway. Um, really sucked to have Toxifex go down because, especially because this looked to be weakness policy, Regice. It could have been Chestnut Berry, I suppose. Um, but if it's not, like, Pex just sat on everything. Then again, my Pex set... What was my Pex set? It had Haze. Yeah, Haze was decent here. And I stand by wanting to weaken the Genesect for my Espeon, which obviously was a giant threat. But we're going to be able to take this first one. But like I said, guys, last time we... So we played one game last time, right? We played one game. And uh, I did the end sequence wrong. I was supposed to max guard, attack, the max guard. But I subbed... Uh, attack than max guarded and i was able to lose but I, and i did show team to the opponent so they saw my team they also did show team back which is really really funny but yeah just so that you guys know what was going on uh before we keep going i just want to give a big shout out to the people who dropped super thanks in the previous videos marcus thank you so much i that was a complete mistake when i was typing that julian i'm glad you like the doubles tournament content it's kind of fun uh, obviously it's new for me so i'm glad you like it and at i appreciate you as well much love fam never guys never feel like you have to, um, you know, like you have to leave those. This is annoying for me. I want to weaken it. I never ever feel like you have to leave those, but I appreciate the those that do. Uh, we're going to Quiver Dance up first as their life orb. I'm faster now. Uh, I don't think Bug Buzz. Yeah, might as well just go for Bug Buzz. No point boosting again just in case they switch. Colossal comes out. Now, Colossal, the Florida men. <laughs> Colossal is a little annoying. Could obviously stone edge me. I do have Surf. Klaus is actually super annoying for my team. Very, 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 very annoying for the team. And Didi, not as much, but Colossal, super, super annoying. I want to think, do I weaken this? But I think I can afford to go x -Plot once. They get up spikes, that's fair. Obviously, I can surf them. I'm going to Boom Burst because they should expect the surf from x -Plot. Exactly. Oh, surf would have been good anyway. <laughs> they end up going Soul Rock. I need to weaken both of these. Wow, if I surf, that would have been two shot. Um, trying to think. Will O Wisp could come out. I do have Energy Ball. The Colossal's annoying. Don't want to get Willowed. Don't really have a switch in that likes getting Willowed either. I'll just go Phalanx, if anything. Even if it gets Willowed, like, so, so be it, right? Like, I think they go for Stealth Rock first, exactly. And we're just going to close combat for as much damage as possible. No point throw chopping. Close combat hits. Everything for decent. Yo. All right, so my opponent has a team. Now... I do have a Togekiss, which looks decent, but it doesn't look the best. And their hazards are super frustrating for me. We'll go uh, Frost Moth just in case they end up going for Sleep Powder as they don't. Uh, they end up going for that. I'm just going to Ice Beam into Colossal. Again, we're just trying to weaken it. Got a Lucky Dodge there, obviously. We're just trying to weaken uh, this annoying Pokemon for my team because Blacephalon looks insane, right? Blacephalon looks insane. This is just the biggest threat. I think I'm just going to Ice Beam again. Get as much chip on this Pokemon as possible. Then bring out you. Throw off a Surf. They do go Soul Rock again. Awesome. Again, really good to weaken. We'll take that. That's going to open up my Togekiss a lot. Tangrowth comes out. Free Phalanx to Sack.
Mm, they should know I die here to Rocky Helmet. I'm going to save this as a sack and go to Yep, because I'd Giga Drain if I was them. And that's a free Air Slash. Oh, they went Colossal. Awesome. I could go for the fact that I can flinch them, but if I don't get the flinch, I get nothing out of the turn, right? So I'd rather do that, and then I'm just going to Roost off. Uh, again, this Mon being weakened, so good for Blaze, which luckily doesn't care about much of their team. And I'm fast in this too, so I can knock him out of Aura Sphere as well. So that's great. That's great. I'm glad I roosted there. Indeedee can come out. I can sack Phalanx. I have Victini, the demon. Yeah, we sack you. Bring out you. We just click the Specs attack. We need to weaken everything. Click, uh, click Specs Blue Flare as Noivern comes out. Noivern kind of sucks. I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to Dynamax and basically go for the attack that can knock on Noivern because that's something faster than my Blacephalon. And we're going to just do our best to just knock out as many Pokemon as possible with our Victini. Again, Blacephalon looks really good because it's faster and everything. Oh, this is nice. Let's go for a Max Flare. Yeah, they're setting up my Blacephalon to win, which is awesome. Max special defense. Just lower their special attack so they can't do much to Toekiss. Don't care about my speed being lowered. I'm going to just go for uh, Specs Blue Flare. Uh, again, we're not doing a lot, but we're not doing we're not doing a little either. You know what I mean? So it's like it's good either way. And I think that Blacephalon wins with a couple boosts, which it should easily be able to get. So we're going to Air Slash once. We knock them out. And Didi comes out. I'm just going to Air Slash this thing too. We Combine up once. And then we should be able to win. Because we just land Fire Blast. <laughs> yep, you heard me. We should be able to win because we just land Fire Blast. And it knocks them out. Yep. And the rest, all I got to do is Shadow Ball and we win the game. Awesome. So I'm glad I Dynamaxed my Victini. When I saw a Pokemon that was... Like, everything else looked slower than um, Blacephalon. So I knew Blacephalon would be safe. But when I, I'm glad I Dynamaxed Victini because I, I get the kill there. Obviously, if they hit with Hurricane, they could have confused me. So that could have made a difference, I suppose. But we're 2-0. We have five more games to play going forward. Making our way right back to the 2300, which is nice. Um, and I guess I'll just pause it until we find the next game. Because they take a little while to get now. We'll be right back. Our first game. Um... I have an ace. I have a lot of good Pokemon here. And I don't really like switching into this thing. So I'm actually just going to go for multi-attack and do as much damage as possible. Lantern walls a lot of my Pokemon. So best case is their Life Orb and Volt Switch. They're leftovers most likely because we don't see Life Orb and that's definitely not choice specs damage. So that's good. That's really good for ace. You come out. Going to make the Cursula play. Cursula play, excuse me. As they Willow and then we're going to spam the Shadow Ball here. Spec Shadow Ball will knock out them. Uh, good damage on Incineroar 2. Rocks are going to be nice in this game as well, I think. That is... That did a lot of damage. <laughs> I like the idea of just going you. If they Willow us, so be it. But if they U-turn, that's good too. Basically, I'm trying to bring back in my Curse Law every single time and just attack. I can Hydro Pump next time too uh, to knock out Incineroar. But this is really good to weaken that. Honestly, Silvali doesn't look bad. Like, maybe it's worth just saving. This guy's annoying though. I'll make the Curse play that and see if they rock slide. They do Willow again. Perfect. We'll Hydro Pump because it'll knock out Incineroar. They already showed it as initial switching. Usually you should switch it up um, because that's what happens when you don't switch it up. But I'm glad we got rid of an Intimidator too. Oh boy. Decidueye. Hmm. Gonna make the U play. Not too bad all around. Uh, I'll get up rocks here because I don't think you should stay in. We can get that chip on that. We got to be really careful about the Sidewire in the end game. Can definitely be extremely scary. If they opt to Scald here, I get another Shadow Ball though. Perfect. They didn't Volt Switch, so I get a nice little Spec Shadow Ball off on something. Again, weakening this. Uh, Scyther looks insane as a Dynamax option. And they Volt Switch here too, so maybe they go Soul Rock or they go Stunfisk. Again, still really good for Scyther. <laughs> I'll just keep, keep clicking Shadow Ball. Oh, we picked up another KO too. So this is great, man. All around, this is just looking good. Like, we got damage on everything. Gyarados. No. No. No, 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 no. 
Ah, this is always annoying. Okay. I'm gonna have to Dynamax here. And Max Strike to weaken their speed. Weaken their attack first or weaken their speed? Nope. Max Strike to weaken their speed. Because they're gonna Dynamax too, right? Yep. Alright, so I have to weaken their speed. So that way they can be revenge killed later. Literally what I have to do so I can beat this thing later. Because they're gonna Max... Oh, they didn't Max Bounce. Awesome. So we can even lower their attack stat. Not bad. Wow, that could have been so much worse than what it was. You... Anything have accurate attacks on my team? Should probably... Mm, you can't even touch the rock. <laughs> we'll go you. You want to land this Zen Headbutt horse? You're a bunny, but... <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, all I gotta do is just get the damage. That way I can knock him out with anything else after. Perfect. Believe now you're the play. Crunch knocks you out. Also hits Decidueye. Gotta be careful about this Soul Rock. I can knock this guy out with multi-attacker. Keep it low. It's gonna be close, man. It's gonna be close. I think I SD in front of Decidueye, though. I definitely think I go you on the Will-O-Wisp. Yeah. See if I live Earthquake. I do not. Damn, okay. So. We just go for Iron Head Flinches now. I got it. I want to SD up once. As I dodge Willow, I mean, I might as well go for it, right? But basically, the SD was because if they hit Willow Wisp, I'd still have the neutral attack to do the damage I need with uh, this Pokemon. And we can crunch after because it hits the Sidueye for decent damage. I can SD in front of the Sidueye too. I need to SD in front of the Sidueye so I can knock out Lantern. This is still going to be a close endgame. I, I made my play that I had to, though. I know I recognize I got lucky there. Good chip. No, that sucks. That hurts. Um, I actually needed them to sneak me. Maybe I should have SD'd there. Oh, they did nothing. Wait a second. Scyther, nope. Lantern, Volt Switch, that's from Specs, get that thread out of here. Alright, so Dual Wing Beat, they have no item. Dual Wing Beat does 21 and 26, uh, no item does 16 min, which means I 2 KO them. So provided I don't get crit here, I win. Oh, they have Thunderbolt. Okay, good game. Yeah, so what I needed to do was, um, what I needed to do was... Uh, SD again in front of the Decidueye. I thought they Shadow Sneak me, so I didn't even think about it. But I need the Swords Dance again in front of Decidueye. Uh, that way they could kill me. And then I go Scyther and Swords Dance up. I think I take too much damage anyway, though. They Scalded it expecting me to Roost, which makes sense. So that's two. This is game one. This is game four. Oh my god, this is a threat. Am I switching this? Kind of. Not really. I was being sarcastic. Yep. I knew it would be Specs, too. That's good. Um, how the hell do we want to deal with this? Couldn't switch. I, I literally could not switch in on a spec stack. Like, I'm not going to bring out my Kyogre. Now, I am going to combine here, though, just to see how they bring out something after. It is Zapdos. I'll make the Santa Conda play on the th uh, Discharge. Hmm. I'm going to Stone Edge first. See how they react. They react by confusing me. <laughs> it's alright. Um, I can save this. I still have you. I still have Combat Kyogre, so it's always a legitimate option to Dynamax. I just don't want to risk them paralyzing me there. Don't confuse this thing either, please. Thank you. Right, we'll get up our rocks first. Considering how much of a threat this thing is, I don't think you should sack Zapdos ever. Exactly. Gonna bring out uh, Zatu on potentially Earthquake, and then Kyogre on the uh, either well, Kyogre just on potentially the 
uh, what's it called? Stone Edge. Or Coil. They might want to Coil her. Do I have Teleport? I do not. They could also go out into Zapdos, to be fair. Uh, it does look like Nihiligo is not bad, though. It does look pretty decent. Like, they were Specs from Marina, so you know they have Scarf. I don't even know if the Scarf variants are... Yeah, they're like 219 speed, right? So they actually are faster than uh, my Nihiligo, unfortunately. But they're, they're Specs, so we know they're... They knocked out my Moltres. Uh, my Moltres. My Mola will hit. Are they Stone Edge there? Perfect. Relative, you know, to the term. And we'll get some damage off on their Primarina. Big damage. I do not believe Thunder kills. But let's find out. 46 to 55. That's around the range I expected. Uh, Energy Ball, I think, should come out. Energy Ball is pretty free versus my team. They could water move, to be fair. But I could also calm mine. I'm going to go Slubro. I'm going to go Slubro right now. If they specs Hydro Pump, incredible play. But then Sobo dies and I calm mine up again. So, Or I get to calm mine, rather. And then I can knock out Zapdos with the max hail. And then get up water move, water move, water move. So we should be all right. Let's see if they Hydro. They Moonblast, perfect. And they get the special attack drop, which hurts, but is what it is. Uh, I need damage on... Any damage? Let's see if we can get. Uh, we might as well not. We don't want to risk this roll, so we're gonna go into my Night Illigo and we're gonna Grass Knots, which would hopefully knock out Primarina because I don't know how light that Mon is. Where's my Grass Knot? Twenty-seven and thirty. It doesn't even knock him out. But it's uh, it's okay to go for it because like they won't Dynamax. They're going to set uh, Anaconda exactly. So we get beautiful damage off on Sanaconda. If they Dynamax, I cannot knock him out with Grass Knot. I literally cannot knock him out with Grass Knot if they opt to Dynamax here. And this Pokemon is very important, in my opinion. So I don't want them Dynamaxing. I'm going to go Zatu. Yeah. I don't want to also risk Dynamaxing myself, but maybe this is so much of a threat that they have to Dynamax to get the speed boost. This worked out in my favor, I say. I'm just gonna get the damage on them that I can. Potentially getting special defense drops. They do have Roost as an option, but we're just trying to put them in range of my Nihiligo. That's also just something that's annoying for my Kyogre. Kyogre's faster than both of these and can knock them both out. Very surprised they went Zapdos. Maybe they were trying to... No, they couldn't. They only have pressure as an attack. Awesome. Okay. So that, my friends, is a free power gem. Go ahead and give me the Zapdos and give me a Beast Boost. Do I get a special attack raise? Yes, I do. Nice. Go ahead and give me that Beast Boost. I'll take it. And again, that's once again amazing for Kyogre. I don't have a ground immunity now, but I still have Santa Conda, which can eat the hit. Are you freaking kidding me? Of course this thing is going to be Scarf. Of course it's about to be Scarf Diggersby. Oh, they Dynamax. Thank God. All right, we're good. We're good. I just go Kyogre and Max Guard. Now that they can't Dynamax, that, they're so weak to this Pokemon that they had to Dynamax with that Mon, so it makes sense. I'll take it. I'll sack you. Get out you and get a nice little burst boost. Unless they quick attack to stop my beast boost. Which is fine. Uh, hopefully they're just so weak to this mod that they just lose. I don't think that's a counter. I don't know. It looks like it might be. I, did. I need to poison them. <laughs> I need you to poison, my friend. 10%. I actually think Kyogre wins. So, oh, there it is. There it is. There's, that's exactly what I need. Also, they click double wish for whatever reason. Yeah, you better protect horse. Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting... Gonna calm mind up once. Actually, 
Orange Impulse first is my best play, just in case they go out to Kermarina. Exactly. We're going to keep Orange Impulsing. As long as I get a Beast Boost, I think I win. A foul play there. No. Can't get up web. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Can't get up webs. Not not today. And they didn't paralyze me. We win. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Hey, let go. What a good ultra beast. Alright. Three and one. Three and one. Let's keep going. We have three more games to go. Three more games to go. How dare you try and get up webs? Also, that also confirms like if Kyle my Kyogre could have just straight up won. Oh my god. Look at this demon that they let off with. It's so good versus me. Why is it so good versus me? I have a decent team, but like uh, we're gonna go Reg Ice. I can't I wanna see what they go for. They went for a fire blast to my left. Uh, I wanna find out if they're specs or not. Reg Ice eats these hits. If they're specs, they're specs. They're not. Uh, this is a little annoying. It's going to be slack off three attack set, which is extremely difficult for me to deal with. But I can shell smash, and I, I can also Gyarados. Like, I have, I have options, but I'm just saying, like, initially it's harder for me to deal with. So I'm just going to spam Ice Beam for a couple turns, maybe get a freeze. As you can see, I got the freeze. Uh, Fire Blast does not thaw, so I'm going to keep spamming Ice Beam. There's no freeze clause implemented in random battles yet. Was it in no Fire Blast does not thaw? Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to Dynamax and kill this Pokemon. <laughs> but no, I have too many good Dynamaxes. I have Shell Smashers, and I have Gyarados. And once again, no reason to predict and stop clicking Ice Beam. Ice Beam, 10% chance to freeze. I knew I would get the freeze too. I, I don't know if anybody else has this power. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Uh, but basically, when you... Um, you don't kill me with anything. Basically, like if I think it, I believe it enough wholeheartedly, it'll happen. Right? So, I'm taking this Pokemon from them because it's a fast Pokemon, by the way, versus me. Lugia looks really good if Slowking dies. Oh, they got it back. Slowking did not die. Ladies and gentlemen, Slowking is back. That's smart. Think I can't do this again? You think I won't click this move until I get the exact same outcome? I can waste a couple turns here. Eh, no, 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 no. It's better to keep him. Like, I mean, it's better to essentially spam. Basically, now I can bring out you and knock off. Again, I'm glad Lopen he's gone. Uh, Transband knockoff is going to do a good chunk. It'll do a KO. And also, just getting rid of the item on anything, I think, is really helpful. I feel like a Pangoro is about to come out. I don't know why. Anybody else feeling that Pangoro? Just me? You guys ever just, like, see Rambass and, like, yo, I'm about to fight this, this, and this? The good thing is, they you use the healing wish immediately. Which is smart. They got the poison on me, but I get a double knockoff on something. Again, this is something I want to... Gyarados smashes this very easily. And I have Moxie too, so... Let's see what they have. I've never gotten a Gyarados sweep in Rambats. Like, that's one of the Pokemon that I never, ever sweep with. So I'm kind of interested to see if that changes today. Hmm. Spikes. Let's go you. Spike up. You can Shell Smash up. And then we can force them out because of our emergency exit. Knocking me off won't do anything. They're not. Uh, I'm pretty sure Leech Life is only on the Choice Band set. I think their first impression uh, knockoff liquidation spikes. Wow, I was wrong. Poister. Why didn't they give me Rock Blast, man? Don't show me Rock Blast on the Calc. I hate you. <laughs> plus two and plus two. 28 minimum. Uh, hydro Pump. 33 min. It's basically closer to force them out, which is what I want, so get the hell out of there. Yep. That's what we want to do. We want to force them out. Oh. I think I click, click this attack twice in a row. I don't check accuracy when I play, bro. I'm a competitive player. Come on, man. Just kidding. That's good for me. <laughs> yeah. I don't check no accuracy. 
Now I get a Moxie boost if they stay in, which they did. Nice. So I get my plus one attack. They have to have some electric attack that's amazing. Like Zero Aura, Tapu Koko type stuff. Something that beats me immediately. They gotta have something like that, right? Like, why else would you give me a free Moxie boost? Or a Ditto. Why would you give me a free Moxie boost on Gyarados of all Pokemon? What are they doing? Ah. I see. Does Max Airstream kill? I feel like this is such a good Pokemon. It's all right for me to uh, go for this versus Slow King. Bounce plus one. Dynamax. Dynamax. Max Airstream at plus one. Nice. Might as well go for the freaking boost. Where are you going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what are we doing here? But I'll take it. Not sure why that happened, but whatever. Go for my max water. I have no reason not to go for it. Oh, wow. I was just talking about I've never gotten a win with this, and I got a win with it. So, nice. Two more games to play. I, I, I feel like I've never gotten a win with Gyarados. That was awesome. You take those. Hell yeah. That was such a weird turn of events. Like, oh, I guess they expected me to max Quake again, so they were trying to stall the Dynamax that way the Gyarados doesn't have to be swept, uh, sweep them. But that's why we run the damage count, right? I had no reason not to run the damage count. If I know it's going to kill, and if I can afford to switch up moves, and it's not going to hurt me, I can calc. And that's what I did. And sometimes I damage calc wrong, and that's okay. Because we're not perfect. Because we're freaking human. In this one of those cases? Uh, no, 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 no. It wasn't one of those cases. It was not one of those cases. Max air screen kill. They were at 25 and this 34 bit. <laughs> Focus Sash. Who oh, no. knew? Yo. What the hell is this team, bro? A bunch of rejects. I'll take it. Um, Alright, so we bring this thing down to Sash. Leaf Storm. No freaking way you're 2 kill. You're a reject. By that I mean, like, you're so bulky, you can't possibly suck. Anchor Shot Polter, guys. They would Anchor Shot me... Or not you. If I knew they didn't have Swords Dance or not, I'd try and just quell on them. Gonna knock off here. Does the most of something. You got rid of the Shift Tree. Nice, fast Pokemon. Look at my team. Like, I mean, Sir Fetchington's is awesome. But like, damn, man. Oh, we're gonna get rid of whatever item you're holding. We don't want that here. Oh, and that ended up being the best play. And I'm gonna Superpower. This is strong as hell. Noise, noise. Does does the? Do I want to reveal the goon just yet? I think because I knocked off, I don't kill the goon. <laughs> but they would have killed me anyway, so I wouldn't have gotten this damage. So I don't regret that. Uh, I don't want to go for the reason I'm I'm talking this right is because I don't want to go for close combat. Um, because I don't want to get a defense drop. I don't want to give if I can if I don't have to give positions to my opponent. Yeah, never mind. This never kills because this is with an item. They don't have an item. All right, so I guess I'll give my opponent a position. That's fine. Like I'm minus one, so it gives me a. I'm in a defensive position after, but at least it gives me my guts boost, and I'll switch out anyway. I do have a Zekrom too. This obviously gonna looks really good. Fast enough ish Pokemon, not the fastest, but it's decently fast. Piece of trash. Ground on. Yeah, I literally had to facade there, which sucks. Um, I'll sack you. A body slam to get the para. Oh, that did nothing. <laughs> get the para, my friend. Sixty percent. Yeah, go Dunsparce. Cool. Man, I can call. I can call twice. I can call twice. They're just going to heal here, right? So I'll go for as much damage as possible. No, I've been... Are you Swords Dance? We'll find out. I wasn't switching, bro. I wasn't switching anyway. You don't got heals? I do. You don't got heals and I do. All right, remember that. It doesn't matter about their Swords Dance boost. Like, I'll be able to smash them with Obstagoon anyway. But I'm also plus six, so I'm going to do a good chunk. Exactly. You're... I'm not trapped here with you. 
You're trapped here with me. Trapped here with me, bro. Get done, Sparse. Battle of the Pathetics. Oh my god, no freaking way you kill me. Oh my god, they got done sparsed. Oh my god, it's faster. Freaking lucky you killed me. Mm. Damn it. <laughs> I know Zekrom's right here, but there's no freaking way it kills. Zekrom. I'm a star. Bolt Strike does not do enough. They don't. They, they won't be able to kill. Oh, please don't be a shell. You know what? Just don't be a shell smash variant. Don't be a shell smash variant. Yeah, that sucks. They knocked me out here. I just outrage. Okay, you live. I think I rest once in an iron head spam. But he crashed first. I'm gonna have to get a little bit lucky, man. I got done I done smart them, but like it wasn't enough. Gonna have to get a little bit luckier. One more, one more. You know what? Give me all of them. Just forget it. Just win me the game. <laughs> and this was a day you'll remember as the day you almost caught. Captain Dunn's boss. Run, 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 run. We don't want to see what they type. <laughs> no, it's not smart. We're crazy. But we're crazy. Should have roosted on Frostmoth, to be honest. But I don't want to risk them uh, freezing me. Dunn, Spars, went crazy. Don't doubt Dunn Spars, bro. That's my title. Don't doubt Dunn Spars. Early Polar community will give you the greatest things you ever your cohesion in card and we people humbly request you out. But MV, what the hell? <laughs> I just got called an MC. Well, I'm an MD. Just, well, I was studying to be one. That don't matter, bro. Um, Yeah, one, one more game? One more game? Oh, God. So, okay, let's see. Let me let me give you a little, little feedback on what just happened here. My opponent just let off with the best, po like, literally one of the best Pokemon, top 10 in Rambats. I let off with one of the worst forms for a decent Pokemon. These are my stories. Please go for a dark move instead of nasty plot turn one. Yay! All right, I'm choice man. Now, I know this sounds stupid, but the last thing I want is for my opponent to randomly have a Doug Trio and trap me. Right? So I just want to make sure 93 to 110, I'll take those odds. I'll take those odds. Plus combat always kills them. <laughs> Man, let's just go for close combat. Get the hell out of my sight, bro. That's one of the bravest po Watch them have a duck trio. Watch them have a duck trio right now. I feel like it's gonna come out so fast. It's, it's coming out slower than I thought. Oh, they had a duck trio. See, it was the Among Us the whole time. You're welcome. Mmm. Threat. Let's go, Gorgas. On the Yiga Drain. The Yiga Drain. <laughs> just, just pronounce Giga with a Y. I get that from my mom. My mom's Puerto Rican, right? And instead of saying Yankees, she says Yankees. So I, I just like to mispronounce things. And she'd be like, it's my accent. I'm like, bro, you've been in this country for 50 years? <laughs> Maybe? Shoot. She just makes me laugh. I love her so much. I love my dad too. They're awesome. Ooh. Let's get some more chip. Let's get just a little bit more. You know, a little bit. That Among is a little bit threatening. But this is good for my Rush Ram in the back. Also, why do you have two Dark types when I have Silvali Psychic? Like, the odds of getting Silvali in random battles, right, are already, you know, one in whatever it is to get how many adult Pokemon there are. Uh, and two, I get the one type that can't touch two of your Pokemon? How dare you do this to me in this climate? But oh, we do have the sledger. Oh, right, you turn here. I'm just doing this because I don't want to get slept. But also, if they go Incineroar, I want to get uh, the chip and potentially bring out my Terrakion, which looks like a giant threat. I hope I didn't do more than the games I was supposed to. 
Hey there, buddy. You're gonna die. 80% of the time, this stone goes right through you. So not only did I miss, but they crit me with Earthquake. What a good game. <laughs> Literally so good for my Sylvali if they died there. Alright, I'm going this so they can Earthquake me again. Basically, my thought process is I can't beat a Mungus without... Or Scarf, too. I can't beat a Mungus without... Um... That's so dumb. Without this thing being weakened. And I have, a, I have the Sylvali, right? So, go you. Get that Poltergeist. That's such a dumb crit, bro. They weren't even banded. They were Scarf. So, that, that hella mattered. I mean, I don't think Bandit even knocked out Terrakion. Their team must have been so rock weak, too. Get to know for hit my lean in the back. Just gonna keep poltergeisting. What else can I do? Just gonna keep poltergeisting. Hey, do a do another 39. Do another 39 right now. Please. Go guys, give me another 39 right now. Give me this Pokemon. Mon's so annoying for Hitmon Lee, please. Going for it again, I don't care. I wanna miss. I can't risk. Okay, they gave me instant they gave me two dark types, so if they lose the Silvali Psychic, that's on them, bro. Not even on me, that's on them. Yes, sir, we're gonna roost here. If they sleep this, then they can't sleep Silvali. So I was assuming they have spore. <laughs> they definitely have spore. Don't let me hit you. Don't let your memes be dreams. Volcanion! You are a threat! Ouch! Let's go Azu. I'm gonna weaken this again. Keep you alive for that. I can knock off the Amoongus if possible. This little earth power, that'd be nothing. I'll live a sludge bomb too if they go for it. Get a nice little choice ban. Huge power knockoff. You know, I'm hyping it up like it's gonna do damage. Yep, there we go. There we go, give me 50. 42. 42. Do it again. Shoot. I live the next one. 27 times 1.5. Oh, I live that too. Don't burn me. There we go. Big damage, big damage. Big damage. Alright, so I don't think they registered that I'm a Sylvali Psychic. Because I keep switching it out like a wuss. <laughs> now, it definitely kills. Why is this so hard? You know, I can type literally any Sylvali here, and <laughs> it's it's staff. 36 min. All I need to do, that one canyon? Yes, 36 min, 32. It's staff. Like, I, it didn't matter which one I was clicking, right? As long as I, as long as it wasn't a super effective one. Get that threat out of my sight. Oh, my God. You find me everywhere. I had to win a speed tie there. Uh... Okay, they give me this damage. This is really big. That, that, yeah, 100%. I'll take that. Screw you for dodging my Stone Age. <laughs> we hella take those. I don't know if they have what their last move is, but I mean, I have a Dynamax Reshiram. How amazing is your last Pokemon? Does it just beat me down? Tell me right now. Like, how fantastic is this, this Landorus beast that's coming out that you were willing to give me everything before Amoongus? It's a Yinx. Uh, I'm gonna lose! Oh, they opted to do that first. Oh my god, the dry skin! Come on, dry skin! <laughs> Come on, dry skin! Ah, <laughs> oh, no! I need one more. I need one more to win. I literally need, I need to get this Max Max Guard because if they go for Max Hailstorm, they change the weather. So I need to get a double Max Guard. Get it right now! Why would they not try and change the weather? Unfortunately, my friends, they are faster than me. So, it looks like my Terrakion was not only faster than every Pokemon on their team, but also completely destroyed them. 
Unfortunately for me, I have lost. Ah, I deserve that double max guard, man. I deserved it. Ah, good game. So we go 5-2 and two today. I, I for sure deserve that double max guard, I think. After one stone edge. I don't care about the crit on the damn Solvali. I missed a Mon that killed them. But that's stone edge for you. So we go 5-2, and two, right? I think that's 5-2. and two. Go 5-2, and two, almost back to 2300s. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Definitely a fun episode. Emotions everywhere. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm all the way to 300k. So thank you. And thank you, everybody, who dropped super thanks. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.